As the COVID-19 Delta variant spreads, vaccine hesitancy continues to be a major concern in the black community. About 25% of black Americans have been fully vaccinated, the lowest vaccination rate of any group, according to the Centers for Disease Control. Interestingly enough, in a time predating modern medical treatment, the contributions of a black man set the stage for the conception and development of science used in vaccines. Much like the COVID-19 pandemic, Smallpox was a highly contagious disease ripping through Boston, the early epicenter of the slave trade in the early 1700s. Smallpox entered the colonies on ships where the enslaved were transported through the Middle Passage in congested, unsanitary, horrific conditions. With no immunity, communities were unable to fight off smallpox and masses fell victim. That is until an enslaved man introduced the Western world to a life-saving treatment. In 1706, a man known in records only as Onesimus was enslaved by a Puritan minister living in Boston. As smallpox continued to plague the colony, Onesimus informed the minister of a way to prevent contraction. The procedure consisted of rubbing pus from an infected person inside the open wound of another. Once the infectious material was introduced to the body, the person would be inoculated or mostly protected against the disease through activation of the immune system. After verifying Onesimus' story, the minister confirmed the practice with other enslaved people and began to spread the word of its effectiveness throughout the state. While the method was revolutionary, white colonists were circumspect and the minister came under extreme persecution for promoting an, a technique developed by a black man. He and the practice were vilified and mocked by the colonists and threats were even made against his life. It wouldn't be until several years later that a lone physician in Boston was courageous enough to support the method, which went on to be incredibly successful. A link can be made between the science of inoculation and COVID-19 vaccine. For example, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines use part of the virus to generate an immune response. So while African Americans are just in having skepticism about a medical system that has mistreated them at several turns, perhaps the story of Onesimus will provide some historical encouragement. So today we remember Onesimus, a man who passed on knowledge that led to the elimination of one of the Western world's most deadly diseases. And that is for the culture. Thank you for watching Prime and good night.